in 1969, we um, had uh, fairly recently supplied a console to um, ABC Television, one of the British independent uh, program production companies, and they were using in that console a, a limiter compressor which uh, came from Pi, Pi being uh, one of the Philips companies. And it was actually not a bad uh, limiter compressor, but the problem was it lacked reliability, it got too hot. And um, so uh, ABC said, if you can produce something, uh, a, a product which would sit in the same physical space, the same hole in the console, and will serve the same purpose. I was given a very short space of time, something like three to four weeks, in which to to do this. And they said, if I can produce a satisfactory design, uh, there would be an order for a substantial quantity of these. Well, um, in my front living room, we had no lab that had been taken over by production. And uh, so I was sitting at a desk and working, what in the world was I going to use as a, uh, as a, as a control element in this um, device? There were no such things as um, VCAs in those days. You couldn't just go and buy the IC and uh, put it to work. Um, well, it occurred to me that the diode is a non-linear device with a huge amount of distortion, but if you configure it in a bridge format, um, you can get rid of quite a lot of the distortion, and so you can apply... Um, audio across one set of contacts and you apply your control voltage across the other side. It's, it's a classic bridge configuration. Um, and by carefully choosing the, uh, the limits of uh, control and signal, uh, it gave quite a good account of itself. So I used this as a control element. Um, and then actually used the same configuration in reverse to derive a control voltage. Um, I used existing amplifiers that were already in stock. For instance, the output stages that we used uh, to drive the lines in the consoles um, were the same circuit exactly with some minor changes in the configuration to change the levels. But um, I was able then to put everything into the same kind of uh, uh, format, the same kind of modular format, uh, putting three of them together, which you can see here is um, three uh, line amplifiers glued together. And... Um, the amount of control I was able to get in this configuration was actually a good deal more than my uh, competitor was getting. Um, so what we were getting was a very nice uh, control curve, um, a very sweet sounding uh, compressor. The limiter was um, uh, virtually, it was a brick wall limiter, which um, I was fortunate to be able to do that, and all within a very short space of time. Well, the customer liked it, uh, provided us with an order, and subsequently there were a number of derivatives of this uh, limiter compressor. This started off as the uh, 2252. Um, it went through the 2253, and this one, for instance, is a 2254. 
And, you know, for the life of me, I cannot remember what all the differences were. There were some quite subtle differences. Um, and we used that kind of uh, format for a great many years. So that is really the story of how that uh, limiter compressor came into being.